The Green Bay Packers have a serious need on the offensive line. After taking care of the safety and running back position in free agency, protecting Jordan Love becomes a top priority. And to be honest with you, the Green Bay Packers can do something in the NFL draft that they haven't done in more than a decade. Stick around and watch the rest of the video. What's up everybody? In today's video, I will be talking about why the offensive line now becomes a top priority post free agency move, why it's important to protect Jordan Love and his future, and how high the Green Bay Packers can draft one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the number one reason why the Green Bay Packers should attack the lineman in the NFL draft is due to lack of depth, adding competition, and current contract situations. With the release of David Bakhtiari, John Runyon Jr. signing with the New York Giants, and Yash Nyman signing with the Carolina Panthers, there is a lack of depth on the offensive line, and adding more bodies to the trenches is a must, especially if you want to protect Jordan Love and make him the third GOAT to come out of Green Bay. If you, When you see here, the starting five is serviceable for now, but the Packers need to add more competition to the right guard, left tackle, and center position, especially for the future. Josh Myers, the center, is in his final year of his rookie contract. Sean Ryan, right guard, is in his last year of his contract next year. And both players haven't really shown that the position is there to keep. Attacking this position early on is a must, especially due to their contract situations. Left tackle Rashid Walker did a great job winning the position during the second half of the season, but only got better due to in-season competition for the spot. The Packers should also add competition and depth to Jordan Love's blind side. Brian Gunacoust has emphasized about having the best five linemen on the field and adding a lineman early would add depth, increase competition, and have a plug and play starter whether injuries occur or when contracts expire. Now the second reason why the Green Bay Packers should make the offensive line a top priority in NFL draft is to protect the franchise quarterback Jordan Love. With Jordan Love ending the season as a top 10 quarterback, Green Bay Packers are currently in negotiation talks to extend a contract of about 45 to $50 million a year to have him as the new franchise quarterback for the future. If you're going to pay a quarterback top five money, the worst thing you could do as a franchise is waste that money financially and ruin his career without having an offensive line to protect him. Ask this guy. For the first 10 games in 2023, he was sacked an astonishing 22 times and was looked at as a quarterback that had accuracy issues and Packer fans and the media started to write him off. During the second half of the season, the Green Bay Packers turned it around and Jordan Love was only sacked eight times for the final seven games of the season and immediately turned into a top 10 quarterback especially since all of his numbers improved dramatically. This goes to show you that when you have an offensive line that can protect you and give you time in the pocket, amazing things can happen. And just imagine how great of a season he could have had when the line were to hold him up since week one. When the Packers give Jordan Love his contract, protecting your franchise quarterback becomes a main priority and Love can eventually flourish into a top five quarterback as well as the next GOAT to hail from Green Bay, as long as love is protected in the pocket. Now my third and final reason why the Green Bay Packers should make the offensive line a top priority is the NFL Draft. With the NFL Combine officially over and teams around the league taking care of positions via free agency, the draft board has shaken up a bit and it remains to be seen who will fall on the Packers' lap. When the time comes for the 25th pick, there is a great chance that the top five cornerbacks are gone, linebacker may be a reach at 25, and the safety position being taken care of with the McKinney signing, the Packers should seriously consider an offensive lineman at pick 25. The Green Bay Packers drafting a lineman at pick 25? The Green Bay Packers were never drafting linemen in the first round. We always draft a corner, edge, maybe a defensive lineman since we did draft Kenny Clark or a safety, but there is no way that the Green Bay Packers will draft a lineman at 25. That is not the Brian Grunekus way. I know, I know, but hear me out. If the perfect prospect is there at pick 25, 
the Packers should seriously consider it, especially if we're trying to protect Jordan Love for the next five to 10 years. If players like Jackson Powers Johnson, Troy Fatanu, and Graham Barton remain on the board, the Packers should consider drafting them, especially due to the current situation of the offensive line and building the next great wall of Lambeau to protect Jordan Love. All three players have all pro caliber ceiling as well as versatility along the line, which the Green Bay Packers value a lot. JPJ can play both the center and guard position. Barton can play all five positions, even though he is looked at as an interior lineman in the NFL, but could play tackle in a pinch. And Fatunu can literally play both tackle and guard positions. The chance of the Packers selecting a lineman at 25 is very slim as they pr prioritize defensive players early on for the past decade. But depending on how the board falls and the right prospect being available, sometimes change is good to revolutionize your franchise, take care of a serious need, and protecting your quarterback. And besides, we've drafted defensive players for almost a decade straight, and Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Although it may sound like an unsexy pick, but those kind of picks are the ones that take care of a position for at least a decade and not have to worry about it anytime soon. This is why the Green Bay Packers should make the offensive line the top priority in NFL draft, especially if they're serious about protecting Jordan Love for the next five to 10 years. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to the channel and see you next week.